going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Relaxed. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So... What happened? Hmm. Yeah. Why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Hmm. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found a plane. And it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. I mean, that's not their fault. The dudes ran over the diving line. Fucking douchebags. Lacrimosa. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Okay. <clears throat> How well preserved it was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through Don't time and accidentally break. ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. All right, below deck. Let's Alex, see. You're like an open book with a 50 point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. Bullshit. You're like Monsignor Moping over here. Oh, yeah. This is definitely, without a doubt, anti aircraft caliber heat right here. Let's see what's going yeah. on. Kind of. Mm -hmm. I think so. What's going you think on? so? What's going on? Man overboard. Collide. No, just say nothing and watch. Like a creeper. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. When it broke, suspicious. 
Mm. Alex! Holy crap! Were you guys, like, in the plane when it broke? Oh, got out in the nick of time. Skin of our teeth. Well, our skin was almost in a shark's teeth. What? Uh, yeah, didn't I tell you there are sharks around here? Uh, no. Most of them aren't dangerous. Oh, yeah, the, the friendly sharks. Hmm. How do you think the day went? Other than our little tight 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 with the locals, pretty good. People always say they have dive experience, but Alex and Julia seem to actually know what they're doing. So, we're we going again tomorrow? Can't wait. Optimism. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. You wanna try to propose? Ratter for Brayson Lee. You got a girlfriend? Not my strong suit. Mm, subdued. Assertive. No, you don't. Fuck it, just say nothing. I'm gonna guess that's a no, then. Dudes make too big a deal out of getting girls. Yeah, what's the big deal about girls? I, I don't get it. Well, they're quite good in bed. I'm just saying, let oh. it happen naturally. Don't force it. Curious. Oh, yeah. What about you? Are you, uh... With anybody? Um, what happened before? That's not really your business, Brad. Right here. Oh, shit. I wonder if I wouldn't have set them up. What Brad had the chance. <laughs> I'll check. Hey, hello there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah. Wait. It's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 she yeah. Didn't deep uh, uh, decompress? Decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something easy to paint. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. She's going to die. <laughs> She's going to die. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Kevin? Coordinates? Mm. Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, oh, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. That's right. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the yep, surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, fam. Uh, when? I don't remember this. Hmm. Okay. Go back. I mean, he's your bro. Anxious and inquisitive. Okay. They're gonna stop trying. I'm witty. 
Yeah, I'm tired of telling this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? It was a meat hook. Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The brother, the husband. The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think he told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Quick time of this. <clears throat> That's right. That's why you stop with one punch. What kind of weak shit is that? You could have took the gun away from, him, but you want to be a little bitch. And they only got one gun. Wow. I'm definitely gonna kill him off.
Hold up. See, this part don't make sense. He was in a bunk bed with uh, Brad, and he was at the top. How they see him, but not Brad? Mm. Y'all the worst hijackers ever. Stop making noise. I'm gonna make sure to kill you off too. Hater, bro. Failed to open the door with the knife. That's not her fault. Just 
cut the thing. Trash ass people. They cut his ear. Was that cannon? Oh Jesus, Conrad. Uh, they didn't. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. <sighs> Untie Conrad, you piece of shit. Did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. King Somber, Julia, tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. What? That's positive you didn't ask, are you okay? What? You know what? Hell, <sighs> man. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. We should just rush him. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. He said seven seconds. So if I do it at six. not fuck it up. My fingers are on deck. Here. Stop struggling. Stop your struggling. You want me to cut you? Huh? Stay back. Keep your eyes open. Dumbass. 
<laughs> Wait, is, he got two guns? So I saw him drop it. Let it go. Oh, maybe no. that, that was his Alex, knife. This is crazy. Get off our boat. Fuck that. Get off our boat. Ha! Your boat? I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. Conrad, don't be a bitch. Fight back. Do it! Get off our boat now. Get off our boat. Now. He's not gonna shoot. No. Conrad, where you at? Why are you so weak? All that muscle for what? You see what you did? You see what you made us do? You trash. Bring them downstairs. Deep this. Use it. Hold up. Dude, you trash. All that muscle for what? Trash ass. You have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! You ain't gonna do shit. It's five against three. Y'all trash. Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? I ain't even checked to see if she was still bleeding or not. Y'all just left. No, she's still alive. It's okay. I'm here. It's okay. You're gonna be fine, JJ. She got grazed. I mean, she didn't decompress, and she uh drunk the alcohol, and she got shot. She gonna die. How could we have been so stupid? We're lucky it's not worse. Could have been killed. What were you thinking? I thought he wouldn't do it. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> this isn't just about you, Julia. We could have turned it around and we wouldn't be in this mess right now. Alright! Yeah. Shut the fuck up! If you wasn't a little bitch. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. Supportive. Accusatory. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has gotta be in on this. These guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Cahoots? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're Big all facts. in this together. This is a trap, and you set us there up! Yeah, yeah, so... Put a cork in it. <laughs> Deflected. <laughs> Deflection. That's the only negative? What about Conrad? Yeah, nothing. Sit oh, still. shit. Oh, yeah. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. <sighs> what the hell is going on, Alex? Empathetic. <laughs> we need to keep an eye on Fliss. She's helping them. She's gotta be. You really think she is? Hey, 
That's enough. No talking. This ain't summer camp. Couldn't talk at summer camp either. This ain't summer camp. I'm gonna talk if I want to. Hey, what Alex, the fuck you gonna do? Up, okay? It's very important to this guy if you haven't noticed. I'm gonna say something else. <laughs> she bumped her head. I wonder what would have happened if I let him get hit in the face. But you're afraid of some water. Fucking idiot! Wolves round in here! Get out! What about my dude? Help. Escape. <laughs> <laughs> hey! So that's what he did in the original. Wow, you trash. He did that in the original. Could you have left me any faster? Just trying to stay alive. In the theatrical cut, he left her on purpose. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Damn. I don't care. Fuck y'all. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. So it's canon. He's in danger. He has confidence. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. It'll be okay. If they and drown, it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. If they drown, my homie be pissed. Dramatic for no reason. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. I don't care. <sighs> really? Kind hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone, independent, admirable, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! It's Julia Town.
hell is wrong with me? They changed the camera angles. Like, look at this stupid shit. Where am I going? Keep moving! I don't know where I'm moving to. Ain't no light, dude. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. I don't like this place at all. In place. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. Next time your buddies take you aside for a powwow, maybe you can have them give you a tour too. You know what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. I know, man, but I don't know if I got much in me. They knocked me around pretty good. You gotta pull yourself together, Conrad. You gotta. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? You cannot hotwire a distributor cap, okay? These assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Relationships spoiled? Oh, no.
<laughs> I can't believe that's the only thing. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I do. I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So. Betrayal. Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Mm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Uh, what's this? So you gonna click on it? God damn. I wonder what happened. It don't matter, because it's useless. This fucking mouse is gonna show up. So. Yeah. This guy Miller was really. F Something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping? This is creeping me out. Three fifty an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering, I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. I wonder why it's abandoned. What do you think? Figures roaming around. Figures? Ooh, spooky. Like ghosts? He said he thought the rest of the guys were just trying to scare him. Well, what the hell was actually going on? Sailors get bored out of their gourds on a ship like this, right? Guess so. They probably found his letter and laughed like crazy at poor old Miller for being so gullible. Something just feels wrong about this whole ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Plan? These guys do not seem like the planning type. I heard them say something about robbing the Duke, that this whole thing was just supposed to be a robbery, but once they heard about the gold, they went and got it over their heads. Worrying's not gonna help. We gotta figure out how to get out of here. So, what do we do? Escape is our only option. Kidnappings rarely end well, even if they think there's a ransom. Hate to break it to you, but I'm not a rich girl, so it's not like they have much ransom for me. We gotta find Brad, too. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. I'll take a look around. Why are you whispering like that? Alright, I'm about to fail this challenge. I know I will. Charbon. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. 
Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet, cet endroit est bizarre. Awesome. On devait seulement les voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine. Et je vous ordonne de payer. Nigga, please. Y'all could both jump him. He ain't shit. Are you acting like a little bitch? Get it open. Come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Oh, 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 we don't know where a bit like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? <laughs> You're the alpha male resentful. Defiant. Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Conrad, you do it. Barricade the door. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. <laughs> Let's go. Ride a dad chick. All right, here we go. We gotta be all quiet and stuff. Come on, comrade, get your ass down. Go, bitch. All right, here we go. I push the buttons. This shit's pissing me off. I pushed it as soon as it said. That's the shit I'll be talking about, bro. It's definitely a glitch or whatever. Are we safe now? Shit makes me want to turn this shit off. Man, fuck. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Shit. You ready? I'm killing somebody. That shit pissed me off. What is this? Can I get a knife? There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How 
How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. happened to him. Can you go? God, I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? You hear that? If by that, you mean that...
Think it's safe to grab it? We gotta go get it. Y'a quelqu'un? Such a good idea, huh? Yeah, man. Not worth it. Okay. Qui est là? Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. tells you, don't you? Stop. Fucking place is cursed. to do this.
Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen! Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? What was that? C'est quoi ce bordel Is anyone there? <sighs> that can't be a good sign. Jesus, what happened down here?
Are you sure? 